Are you struggling to find a way to transform your PDF document into an interactive fillable document to send it off to a client, to create as a freebie, or even to sell as a digital product? Well, in this video, I found a really great free and easy way to do just that with Docfly. By the way, welcome back to the channel. I'm Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio. I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship here. So if you are also building out an intentional business right now, then be sure to subscribe to follow along for more videos and tutorials and inspiration. All right, without further ado, let's head on to my laptop and let's create that fillable PDF document. All right, welcome to my laptop. We are currently on the Docfly website right now. And just so you know, Docfly is free to use up to three documents a month. Anything over three documents, you will need to upgrade to their premium plan, which is $7.99 a month for a monthly plan or annual plan will be $3.99 a month. Now let's get back into the home page of Docfly here. All right, first things first, we're gonna have to create that PDF form first. So I already have one created, um, so I'm gonna upload it and literally just drag it into the space here. Um, if you don't have um, a document yet, I do actually have a separate uh, Canva tutorial on how to create a PDF form like this. So if you wanna watch that, go ahead and watch that. Uh, this template right here is actually um, taken from my Canva Basics Skillshare class. So if you want this exact template, you can go ahead and take my Skillshare class for free as well. I'm going to put the links of that class in the description below. All right, so now that we have that um, put in here, we can go ahead and go to edit. And that's gonna open the Docfy editing kind of interface. So if we go to form creator here, so you can do a lot of other uh, different edits um, as well. If you want, you can do that, but you're probably, you probably created your document on Canva. So you probably could have just done that on the Canva side, but we can head to the form creator here and there are a ton of different form fields that you can choose from. So the first one here is text. This is actually just adding text um, and editing existing text. So again, we're not gonna be using that one here. So if you have a one line text field, uh, then this is the first one that you can use. So all you have to do is select it. Let's just all pretend that this is a one line question. You can go ahead and just click and that will open that form field here and you can extend it as short or as long as you like. So I'm just gonna make it this length here. And once you do that, there are a bunch of things that you can do. So you can change the font, you can change uh, the text size. So when you, type in here and kind of see like what the size is. So I typically like to keep text quite small. Um, and I think I'm gonna choose Times New Roman for this. You can even change the color of your text, whether it comes out bold. So I'm gonna keep this obviously not filled out right now because that will be what whoever is using this form will actually fill out. And so let's just look at here. If you want, you can name the text field. Um, let's say your question is first name. Um, then you can go ahead and do that. If you want, you can also change the background color of this. Um, I mean, I would probably just keep it clear um, and we'll leave it at that. All right, so next up is your paragraph field. So you can go ahead and click on paragraph here and the same thing, you just click and then you can adjust the box to however big your text field is or your paragraph field is and you can do all the same things. You can change up uh, the font, the, um, the font size, the color of the text, that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna change this to Times New Roman and change this to 11 size font to keep it the same. Um, and then next up we have check fields. So you can go ahead and click on this. It's super you know, straightforward. It's just a checkbox. So just go ahead and click and it will turn that into a checkbox. You can make the checkbox bigger if you like or adjust it as needed. Um, again, you can change your checks into different things. So it can either be like a cross 
Here, I'll show you. It can be a check, a cross, circle, square, um, star, diamond, whatever you want, but I typically like to just do the check mark. Um, and then you can also change the color as well. So you want to make sure to keep this unchecked as well so that um, default is unchecked. All right, next up is your radio field. So radio field is for when you have like, um, like you ask a question and then there's like selections. Um, this will allow you to create as many selections as you need, uh, but it's only for if you have um, like one answer at a time. So it's either like this one, or it's going to be this one, or it's going to be this one. I don't think you can do multi-select with radio field. Um, and so, yeah, go ahead and add those in. You can change the size of these boxes or delete one as needed. Um, and that's radio field. All right. Next up is your drop down field. This one is you know, very self-explanatory. If you have a drop-down selection, you can go ahead and add your selections on the side here. So let's just say um, we have choice one again. You can add that, choice two and choice three. And doing that will allow you to have a drop-down with all three of your selections here. So that's super easy. All right, um, again, you can also change up, you know, your text size. I think this is a very great um, functionality to be able to customize all of the text and font sizes for pretty much everything. So it's quite user-friendly and easy to use. All right, next up is your list field. So this one allows you to have all of your choices showing at the same time. So instead of having a drop down, it would all show up on this list and essentially someone can um, like choose. Um, this selection does allow you to do multiple selections. So for example, if you wanna do like choice one and choice three, it will allow you to do that. I don't think it's, allowing me to do that on this preview right now, but it does say it allows multiple selections. So um, I would assume that would work right there. All right, so um, next up is your date field, which is super, super helpful. So you can slot that in and uh, you can slot in your date, for example, or you can basically even uh, default it to today's date, which is super helpful. All right, and then next we have your signature field. So if you want this to be similar to a contract, you can add in a signature field here. Usually I would put a little bit more space into here and this would allow someone to um, put in their signature right here. All right, next is uh, initials field. So very similar to signature, um, they'd be able to type in their initials here. So a range field, this just um, allows you to do multiple selections and then basically just align them together, which can be very helpful actually. So if you wanna use that, um, this is also an option to help you kind of um, customize and align your, your fields um, a little bit more neatly. All right, so those are all the different options. What we're gonna do here is we are now going to download this document. So first off, you're going to save it and make sure that it, that it is all saved. And then we are going to export it and we're gonna download it. Now, as you can see here, I've already downloaded one document um, with this account this month. So this is going to be my second document. So we're gonna download it here and let's look at this, um, this document together. All right, so we have our beautiful document here. Now let's test this out. So we have our one line field here. So let's say this is first and last name. Perfect. And then this is your paragraph. So this is a paragraph. This is a paragraph, so perfect. This is typing in different paragraphs. So if you keep um, going enter, you're going to create multiple paragraphs here. It's gonna keep going actually, which is great. Um, next up are your checkboxes. So you can, those look pretty good. 
and then we have your choice selection um, and then we have our drop down here our date field uh, looks like our um, signature boxes didn't show up so that's really odd as well um, let's see if we can change the date you can easily change the date there okay I'm going to download this uh, one more time because maybe it's just not showing in the preview Okay, so I've opened it instead of in my preview, I've opened it in like any PDF reader and it looks like the signature fields are showing up now. So um, you definitely need to use um, like a PDF reader uh, in order to see the signature fields open properly, which makes sense because on the preview, it doesn't actually work that well. So again, we're gonna try this out here again. So Cheryl Chan, so this is the one-liner, um, the paragraph, Okay, perfect. And then we have our check boxes here and our choice selections. Um, we have our drop down here, the date here working perfectly, and then the ability to add um, a signature here, which is great. So you can definitely use this for contracts. Perfect. So I'm just going to save this document right now and I'm going to open it again. Just make sure that all of the fields have been saved with it filled out. Okay, perfect. So as you can see here, after I've saved the document, the pair, the form fields have been saved with everything filled out. So if you're sending this to a client or you're sending to a, a customer, just remind them to really open it into a PDF reader to fill it out and then they can save it and they can uh, feel free to email it back to you with it all filled out. So I hope that was really helpful. Honestly, it was really, really easy to use. Docfly was um, like the interface is actually very easy and beautiful, um, much more beautiful than some of the other options that we've tried out on this channel. So I really highly recommend it. If you're only making three documents or less in a month, then it's completely free. But even if you need to upgrade, it's not very expensive. Even on the monthly plan, let's just say you're doing all your templates in one month, you're just paying around like seven bucks. So it really isn't that big of a deal at all. All right, and that is it you guys if you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this by the way i have actually created very similar uh, video tutorials in the past using pdf escape as well as using indesign so if you are trying to figure out how to do the same thing but with those platforms instead i'll also link those video um, in the description below. Now, if you got to the end of this video, honestly, I'm pretty impressed. In today's video, I wanted to pose a really random question. What is your favorite food emoji? Is it the burger, the fries, the eggplant? Well, mine is actually the dumpling emoji because, well, obviously because I love dumplings, but I can actually make dumplings that look exactly like the dumpling emoji. So, what is yours? What is your favorite food emoji? Let me know in the comments below. I'm so curious. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>